Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking a look at a cool new product. It's the Simple Gates from cctv.fm. Now they're a Canadian company and they sell this as a DIY kit. You can buy it right off their website. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of like $37 US, very, very inexpensive. And of course you have to put it together yourself, but it's actually a very easy kit to assemble. There are two low pass gates. So there's one here and one here. And each one has an audio input, an audio output, a CV input, and then a three-way switch, which we'll talk more about later. That's it. Simple, straightforward, very similar to the original uh, Buchla low pass gate, which of course is known for its kind of natural sound due to the Vactral inside of it. It tends to do a very natural kind of ramp up and roll off, um, unlike a lot of the newer things that are really kind of choppy. So it has a really cool sound to it. Now I've done quite a few uh, DIY Eurorack modules, but this is by far one of the simplest. I mean, there's no power or anything to deal with. It's just very simple. You've got something like a dozen resistors, I think four capacitors, the Vactrols, and then a series of uh, jacks and switches, and I suppose the two LEDs as well. It's very easy to assemble, very quick. If, if you were new to Eurorack module building, this would be a good one to start with. And um, super, super functional. So they added their own little trick, and as I said, they didn't make it too complicated, but they did add their own little kind of twist on the low pass gate, and that's this three position switch. So what happens is in the topmost position, it functions like a typical low pass gate. And so what that means is it's going to gate the sound like a VCA, but as it does that, it's gonna roll off some of the high frequencies and it's gonna do that in a very natural way. So as the um, voltage increases, so does the way that it rolls those off. In the center position, it works just like a VCA, no frequency roll off. So it's gonna be similar, but it's gonna let through more of the high frequencies. And then in the bottom position, it adds a low pass filter to um, just kind of filter out a little bit more of the high frequencies. And sort of the traditional way to use the low pass gate is to use kind of a short snappy envelope. Um, and it certainly works great for that. But I've always liked it when you let the envelope just get a little longer. I love that low pass gate effect because what happens is the envelopes start to run together. And I just really like the way it sort of lets those frequencies kind of roll up and down and just, I don't know, they have a really cool sound to it. So let's take a listen to that. And you can also go the opposite way with it and you can have a ramping up envelope, so a, a slow rise and a quick fall. And low pass gates tend to handle that well too. Um, so let's hear what that sounds like. One other trick that this module has up its sleeve is it has a little jumper here that you can choose uh, to solder or not. And if you do, it just normalizes the output of the top gate to the input of the bottom gate. So then you can just plug in uh, you know, your input here, your output here, and it actually will pass through both gates. Now the CVs are always normal together. So anytime if you have a CV in the top one, it's gonna also normal to the bottom one. So you only need one CV source so you could have two different audio sources, but you can also use it as like a chained gate. Um, so let's hear what that sounds like. But there you go. That's kind of uh, this little module. Again, super inexpensive, super easy to build, very useful in your system, does not require power. So even if you're at maximum power saturation, you can squeeze it into your system somewhere. 4 HP, really nice, 
really like it. And CCTV seems like a good company. I have no affiliation with them other than I just kind of liked their module. So, you know, that is what it is. Check out their website. Really appreciate you tuning in today. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Look for more videos with this in the future. See you guys soon.